Hi everyone, I'm Safia, a software engineer on the ASP.NET Core team at Microsoft. And in this .NET beginner series, I want to talk to you about backend web development with .NET. Specifically, we're going to focus on building web APIs with ASP.NET Core. Before we get started, let's define a few terms. First, what are web APIs? Well, before we can talk about web APIs, we have to talk about APIs. APIs are application program interfaces, and it's a way for applications to communicate with each other. Web APIs are simply APIs that communicate with each other over the internet. They typically implement a request response pattern. That is, one application, which is usually a client like your web browser, will send a request to another application, which is usually a server, and that server will respond to the request with a response. Because these clients communicate with each other, it's important that there is a standardized format that they can agree upon for understanding each other's messages. JSON and XML are formats that you might be familiar with for describing how data is communicated between clients and servers in a web API. We'll cover all of these concepts in future videos in the series. But first, we want to get familiar with ASP.NET Core. ASP.NET Core is the technology that we'll be using in this beginner series. ASP.NET Core is .NET's open source, fast performance, and cross-platform application for building web APIs. Now, because it's cross-platform, it can run on Windows, Linux, Mac OS. You can even run it on a Docker container. It's pretty neat. Um, ASP.NET Core has built-in support for building web APIs. We'll explore all of the features that are included in ASP.NET Core for building web APIs in this series. So far, we've defined terms like web APIs and developed an understanding of ASP.NET Core, which is .NET's cross-platform and high-performance platform for building web APIs. In the next video in this series, we're going to start looking at some code and build our first web API using .NET.